Hi everybody, Lisa here over at iRepair Devices. Today is Friday, December 8th, and today on my workbench I will be working on a Bose Wave Radio CD along with the 3D uh, disc changer expansion unit. Um, this unit came in uh, having a disc error problem. Um, this couple contacted me yesterday. Uh, they live up in Wisconsin. They said that they're going to be down in my area for the weekend visiting family and they were wondering if they could drop it off for me to take a look at. I said sure why not. So uh, they dropped it off this morning and I spent some time with them. I wanted to go over the basics with them um, in regards to the error. Um, first I asked them you know the CDs that you were playing did you make sure they were clean, dust free, no scratches? They said yes. Um, the CDs were in great working order. And I asked him, I says, have you ever cleaned the inside, the, the uh, lens inside this, this unit at all? And they said they have not since they purchased this unit. So after they left, I went ahead and did the cleaning process. And it doesn't take much. All it is is just a CD. There's a CD cleaning lens uh, kit that you could buy. And it looks like a regular CD, but when you flip it over... See if I can line it up for you. Uh, when you flip it over, uh, zoom in. There's a there's a little brush right there, and there's four bristles. And what they do is just spin inside and lightly clean off the lens for dirt and debris. Um, now this doesn't last long. Maybe about oh about 20 seconds. So I like to run it through um, you know three or four times just to make sure that it did you know kick everything off. Um, did the cleaning then I was able to um, put a CD in slots two three and four uh, in the first run with no problems but the problem uh, when I started running through the second run is where I started getting the disc error now I was getting disc error message in slots two and in four now disc three the slot three it was playing the CD but I could hear chattering. I can hear the uh, CD kind of bouncing around in there. Uh, so that tells me that the head assembly wasn't making a good contact on it. But it was enough contact to where the lens would be able to read it and play the music. Um, now, the chattering would still be there in the background, but the music kind of, um, you know, overplayed it so you didn't hear it, but it's still there, you know. Uh, so because of that and because I couldn't get, you know, I'm still getting the disc error and now because I'm getting the chattering, now you're looking at an alignment issue. So what I need to do now is just go into this unit and look at the assembly and take a look at the gears. So this is where I'm at right now and I figured I would do a video on that. So what I'm going to do is just disconnect the power. And this is actually two units. So I'm, what I'm going to do is just flip this top unit off. Just flip it back here. I'm still going to keep it connected to the bottom unit. And I already removed the screws from this bottom casing. And I'm just going to disconnect the cable here. And this ribbon cable, all it does is just transfers um, onto the LED, onto the display screen up there. Um, messages, you know, is the disc being played? You know, disc error, rewind, you know, so it doesn't really do much. And then I'm going to disconnect these two ribbon cables. Now, now this unit is held down with four screws, but I already uh, went ahead and removed the screws just to kind of speed up the video here. And so just lift this straight out. Put this off to the side. Okay. And here we go. This is the uh, assembly here. This is where your CDs are fed in, and uh, see, see each one. And then what's interesting is each one has uh, an arm here. So what what this does is um, when this when I flip it over, there's a clutch here. Okay, and this clutch controls um, this whole uh, uh, um, assembly here. It transfers power to the rest of the assembly which controls the unit going up and down so when this clutch is uh, in the uh, disengaged state 
what it does is it what it means is it, it's loading the CD so when I put the lo uh, CD in the slot here this arm is going to pull in the CD and put it into place now once the CD is loaded in place the gate the clutch now is going to go into an engaged state now once it's in the engaged uh, state what it's going to do now is transfer let's see if I could show this here it's going to transfer power to the gears and all it is is just linkage gears that that are uh, mounted at the uh, underneath this uh, top part here they're actually, actually up here if you can see it they're all linkage gears so when the uh, clutch is engaged it's going to transfer power to this gear to this gear then it's going to turn on this worm gear and then it's going to continue on. So we've got gears up here, can continue transferring power. We're, now we're going to turn on this worm gear, continue uh, transferring power to the next set of gears, and then we're going to go to the third worm gear. And the worm gear is what drives this unit up and down. And so what I'm going to do is manually test this. What I'm looking for is visual. I want to see um, how this uh, assembly is raising and lowering. So what I'm going to do is just uh, press down the uh, the clutch here, which I'm engaging it, and I'm just going to rotate uh, this one gear here, and you'll see that this unit, the assembly, is actually because it's flipped upside down. I'm actually lowering it to the to the um, to the lowest spot, so it's going to be going down to the uh, drive uh, slot four. So I'm just going to lower it down to the bottom. And then what I'm going to do now is just uh, uh, rotate the gear to the top. And what I'm looking for is do all the worm gears uh, meet up at the top at once. So that's what I'm looking for. So I'm just keeping an eye on the left, the center, and the right. Just kind of watching it all. all right. Now I'm at the top, so I'm going to back it up a bit and then just watch. Okay, watch that side. What I am noticing is, I'll just double check here. All right, what I am noticing is this worm gear is meeting up at the top before these two are. So what it is, what it means is that uh, this side is higher than this side. So the top is reaching, you know, this this left side is reaching the top before the center and the right side is. So that it's actually coming up on an angle. Um, so in order to resolve this issue, what I need to do is now I'm flipping this over. All right, so I'm going to flip it over. So now I want to keep this in view for you. So this is the gear, the worm gear that was meeting up at the top first. So what I need to do is manually raise uh, the center and then now this left side uh, uh, worm gear. Now in order to do that, is here are the gears all right the gears are now on the bottom all right what I need this gear is what controls there's this worm gear over here so what I need to do is separate these two gears because this gear that I'm pointing to right here is what drives the center uh, worm gear and then on onward to the to the last worm gear so what I need to do is I need to separate these two all right separate these two and let me get my pointer here and what I need to do is just and I like to start in small increments I'm going to rotate this gear about a half a turn clockwise to see if that uh, clears up the uh, uh, the timing issue um, I don't like to go you know full rotation I like to do it in small increments it's easier to um, keep adjusting it instead of like coming back so uh, what I need to do is just set this down and kind of keep it in camera here so you can watch me so what I'm going to do is get my stick in here and what I need to do is just separate the teeth on these two gears so what I'm going to do you got to be careful these these gears are plastic um, what I need to do is just just to lift up here separate the teeth and then what I'm going to do is just rotate that one gear I'm going to rotate this gear about a half a turn so just lift all right there we go Right. lock that down in place okay all right the gears now the teeth are back uh, locked together so I'm going to flip it back over 
and I'm going to now uh, again raise and lower this I'm going to see if that's resolved the issue so I'm going to just bring it down to the most bring it down to the bottom position first all right now I'm going to work my way to the top keeping an eye on all three worm gears all right back it up a bit and all right this is when they're hitting the top that left and center now look good now this side and the far right okay they're all hitting the top uh, all at once but I really won't know until I go ahead and, and test uh, test it out in uh, test it out in the unit by putting a CD in there and also did this um, resolve the chattering that I was getting in slot three so what I need to do now is just um, get this out of the way bring down the shell here and just place it back in there cables right and let's plug the lid back in I really don't need to play this you know to have this on uh, to test the the CDs but I like to put it on because this is what will display any type of error messages on the screen if there should be any So that's in. Put the lid back on. Let's flip this back over. Now, when I plug this in, before I do anything, it's going to go through an initial uh, initializing state. So it's going to go through and read all the drives, and then uh, give me the OK to put the CD in. So let it go through the initializing phase. only takes a few seconds okay I'm gonna power it on now all right I'm gonna put a CD in I don't want to get in trouble with YouTube so I'm not gonna play it very long uh, I don't want to get in trouble with any copyright uh, issues but I think if they see that it, it is a video a repair video uh, they should be okay with this but I want to just be able to pop in the CDs on each uh, drive here just to show well for myself I need to see if it does clear the disk error message and did it clear up that chattering noise I heard in in slot three um, so I'm not going to play the, the music long. I'm just going to pop it in. If it reads it, you might get a, like a few seconds of it and then just continue on. So here we go. I'm going to load it into drive two. All right. As soon as I loaded it uh, earlier, I immediately would get the disc error. It's spinning. Okay. Music's playing. Sounds good. So let's... Uh, Move on to the next one. Let's go to the next uh, slot. We're going to go into slot three now. Remember, slot three is where I heard the chattering. Um, so I'm going to see if the, the uh, alignment solved the chattering issue. So pop it in. Okay. It's spinning. I'm not hearing any chattering. Music's playing. So that was... That's, that uh, alignment solved that issue. And let's test the last one. Drive four. Okay, again, spinning. This is where I'd get the disk error message. Spinning. Sounds good to me. So just by doing that half turn rotation uh, on the uh, the gear was enough to get those worm gears re uh, realigned. Um, basically, it's, it's like a timing issue. Um, now, when you're 
working or when there's uh, circuits that can uh, contain gears, um, you will run into issues like this just because of the normal uh, wear and tear on them. So uh, there are maintenances that will have to be done and one of them is a realignment. Um, it may be on the gear. It's sometimes you might have to replace the gear itself because gears do uh, wear out. You know, the teeth that eventually start, you know, um, what do I want to say, start, uh, you know, breaking apart, you know, where that, they're not making a good uh, link to the next one. Um, and depends on how the gears are used. Sometimes if they're driven by a belt, the belt inside starts getting worn out, stretched, uh, frayed, dry rotted. Uh, but in this, and in this instance, the gears are driven, are being drived by, uh, or they're driven, they're driving worm gears, which is a screw and a, um, a spring. And what happens is, uh, when it's raising and lowering it, um, there, it just slips. So, uh, there was just enough slippage to where, um, when it would read the CDs, it was saying, mm, you're not even here. I, I, I can't read what's in here, even though it still would, it, even though it still accept the CDs and you can, and it would spin just being off just a fraction would be enough just to throw it off from where the lens wouldn't be able to detect, uh, any, any, um, CD being in, in, in that slot. And then for the chattering, it makes sense as well that it wasn't the head of the, the, the CD assembly wasn't making a good connection. So when the CD was spinning, it was chattering around, uh, chattering around in there, but it was enough to where it was still being held in place where the lens was able to say, Hey, there's something in this slot here. I'm good to go. And I can play the music. Um, so yeah, so this was a, a successful repair. All I need to do now is just, you know, uh, reassemble everything, put the screws back in and contact the customer and they're gonna be happy about this. So um, like, share my videos and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Until next time.